Well, welcome to Tinker Bee Tea. I apologize right out the gate for my allergies. I sound awful. And if you hear me coughing or clearing my throat or sounding gurgly, whatever, it has to do with that. So I have put together a little bit of a film strip here, background, because I yet have not got the camera area settled so I can do live video. Where you see that there is where I'll be filming. But right now I don't have things set up and I don't know how soon I will. But I wanted to put out a reading, a couple of them actually. Um, pick a piles and I had to allot the film for the duration so they would meet the same standard of time and I'm doing my best this is the first time I'm doing this this way here right now and let's see how it works out if you're here I so appreciate you coming by and I do hope this is helpful in some way this is um, your glow up what is the next glow up you are going to be expecting and that is going to be across the board. I'm not going to be just about 3D or spiritual. It's going to be anything. I grabbed different oracle decks for each one of you, each pile. And if you want to listen to both piles, that is forever your decision because you might feel inclined to do a one and two. And this will probably be in effect immediately, but it could be I don't know, say about 12 days, 12 weeks from now, the results could be coming to a close. You know, you could be finding yourself with the finalization of these. So without further ado, oh, please leave the comments below if you feel any resonates and if any of these are glow up things that you would like to see that you've heard in your reading that you're excited to see come for you. Please don't forget to hit the emoji the red ones would be nice to see for a little bit of fire to add to this this little video. And I would love it if you would get involved and subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share. This is Tinker BT and I will be back with your reading. Hi Pile One. What is going to be your next glow up? How are you going to shine to the world? What improvements are you going to see within self, spirit? body, abilities, what things are going to come in for you? We have the sun. You're going to be more free. You're going to have clarity. You're going to have the lights shining on you like a spotlight. You're going to be fearless of the sun on you. And you're going to look like a movie star because this picture that they used for this card this looks like somebody in a classic film. So you're going to have a classic beauty or handsomeness about you, whichever you know way you go. And you're going to be unafraid to show off your skin. You're going to be alluring, attractive, sensual. And you're going to appear, appear to people this way. You're going to be appealing to the eye in a physical sense. You're also going to be very serene and in thought tranquil and people will see you this way this will be how you're spotlighted it won't be like you're look at me pick me it will be more like you will be effortlessly getting the attention the sun will be on you like it's natural the natureness you will come across as naturally getting attention because the sun favors you you will get judgment now this being a glow up i feel that going through the fast lane in life, you are able to get your opportunity to see the rewards where you get dharma because it's the opposite of karma, you know, and judgment is often thought of as karma. I feel that the karma you've dealt with is over with by the glow up time. You wouldn't be getting the glow up, I don't feel, if there was still karma to pay. So you're finishing that. Now that you've finished that, the karma is gone, the dharma is going to step in, and that judgment is going to balance the scales. So whatever is the residual factor that you have coming to you for the good side of things will be part of the harmony that brings in your new future, the new future version of self. And you may also carry Leo or Libra energy, whoever's listening to this. Um, yes, feminine energy we have here. Um, of course, Leo is masculine, but 
what I see here is, is you generally have your energy more balanced between the two but somehow in this glow up if you're a feminine you're gonna have it pronounced and your Leo energy will be at the feet of your chart or they it will not be as pronounced so that masculine energy will not be pronounced but if you're a man or you identify as masculine and you want to be masculine all it means for you would be that your heart chakra is going to be aligned it's going to be thriving people are going to see you for a more caring and compassionate individual maybe before you weren't maybe before this glow up you were struggling to show that you cared and now it will effortlessly be seen and then you're very earthly in this glow up you'll be very earthly so you'll be very comfortable around botanicals and flowers and gardens and trees forests you want to go out and explore and go hiking I feel that you will be on some kind of a adventure outdoors be it you're just exercising or you're picking a time to go camping to go trekking through maybe somewhere outdoorsy maybe hiking and to a mountain area maybe you're traveling because it's your time of year to travel but this glow up is going to involve you being seen as an adventurer someone who isn't afraid to get a little dirty maybe somebody who enjoys putting a little bit more into the earth so you might be planting seeds you might be smelling flowers picking flowers you you might be selling produce but your glow up involves being around botanicals being around the ground so you'll be grounding you'll be feeling a lot more centered with this earth with the plane that you live in and so you're going to be seen as a stable individual you're going to see it because the last energy you had was harmony and balance this one's grounding you're going to be seen as a solid individual beautiful solid so let's see what else we have for you your intuition because you're going to be doing so much earth activity and grounding because your heart chakra is aligning and you're vibrating at a higher level because of all this your glow up is going to involve your intuition now you may have already had an intuition that was already thriving but get this it can go up more octaves and here it goes it's going to with this glow up grow so you're going to have a higher intuition this is a very spiritual card um you're going to be known as an oracle so you will have an answer for people when they come to you you'll be quick on the spot they'll be how'd you know that well they won't have to ask it's going to become pretty pretty known that you're the one who will have answers that they're basically getting from the air right sapphire insight okay that goes along with i think that what this is saying is if you use sapphire as a jewel to wear for cosmetic purposes or otherwise you can go get yourself a raw one it'd be a lot better if it's a raw gemstone and if you do this this might enhance your ability even stronger so if you already harness one in your collection start wearing it you might see your glow up start up sooner you're going to be known to be much calmer too so I feel that that has to do with I feel that has to do with your letting go and going with the flow and letting Gaia take you know hold of you and you know guide you and direct you help you along your path orchestrate you on your vision which when you see with all three eyes or two optical you know the ones connected and then your third eye right when you see with them all and Gaia is within you and working with you you're gonna see things so much different it's gonna be clearer um, I feel your eyes are gonna be beautiful they're going to be shining bright it's gonna be as though you have contact lenses in there to make them more look more beautiful people will look at you and they'll ask you have you done something to your eyes and you haven't but your beauty is going to be starting to shine from within as well Gaia is going to pronounce more beauty that's going to be echoed into the DNA so 
as you gravitate through this path, this collection of life in the nature way that you're going to, going to be exploring with this glow up, you're going to enhance yourself in, in the outside world. What they see, that sun is going to follow you around like you're in a movie, like you're the star of your own movie on this glow up. And you're going to get good fortune. I feel that you're going to get lucky when it comes to resources coming your way or offers like job offers. It could be free things that are offered to you. Um, you could go into a store, a store and find out that they're offering something and you didn't realize they were and you get something dirt cheap or barely pay for it. Right. You're going to find out things are going to fall right into your hands and it's going to be because you've been working so diligently with Gaia. Gaia and you have instrumentally been working together and your intuition is always on. Gaia is gifting you. Gaia is the one. Set your vibrations and raise your vibrations and connect to the cosmos. So yeah, you're going to be doing some meditating and as you do the astral plane is going to be open to you i feel your recall is going to become very open and thriving you're going to know you're going to remember those things in which you're encountering those people that you find up there that are not in their suits just as you aren't and when you do your recall is going to become better and clearer and you're going to with that intuition be able to spot them if you've never met them, feel their energy, know who they are when you see them on the earth plane. Galactic Griffin, inner wisdom connecting to your higher self. Yes, uh, pretty much reinstates what I just said. So pile one, you're looking at a total transformation inside and out. So your beauty is going to be popping. You're going to look alive like even if you feel like you didn't sleep enough, you're going to have a refreshed look about you every day you get up. And then it's partly because you're in nature, you're being kissed, you're being touched, you're being caressed by nature. And nature is loving you and it's showing will you while you love yourself and you do the whatever rituals they are, your beauty rituals, whatever ones you choose, right? Then you go off into nature on on an, a whim or you decide to go on a trip or whatever it is you decide to do the adventures you have out there the fitness the regimens you keep these things are all going to show within you your eyes are going to be beautiful and shining bright they're going to be colorful if they're blue or green they're going to be much brighter and if they're brown they're going to be clearer and more it's going to every tone in your eyes are going to be noticed i don't know if you've ever seen those eye charts that they show where you can see the designs people are going to be amazed when they look at your eyes because they're not going to look the same as they did before so if you know people who see you during this glow up they're going to say something about your eyes i can tell you that and your your hair and your skin they are going to seem different as well yes you have healing chambers using high dimensional light sound or crystals okay um if you are working with gemstones then you're going to see a bigger glow up, much bigger glow up. Now this could be that you've been already working with them, but something about the codons are timed to make a renewal very soon for you. And with this glow up, whatever you've been putting into your body and you've been experiencing around your body, it's going to begin to pay off. And that could be even dealing with those crystals. So you might be mindful about which ones you put in your collection what ones you handle touch gaze upon because you don't have to have one if you can't afford them you can go gaze upon them or get the frequency on a youtube video or something like that golden ray dolphin ancient knowledge and telecommunications okay for me that is telepathy because um for myself i have had telepathy with dolphins that weren't here and that is something that certain star seeds can do. I think what's going to happen with your glow up is you're going to find out more about your star seed lineage and you're going to get it through messages telepathically. So 
whatever it is that your your energy initially come from it's going to be guide the, the dolphin energy is going to be guiding you farther into the knowledge of your star seed lineage your mind is going to be so strong that there won't be anything to deter you you will have razor focus you will have a fiery fiery focus it will be like having an archery crossbow that you have a fire on and you mark your target and it's a blaze and there's no one that can get you off task no one so if there's something you're interested in you're running with it no one's stopping you okay and your mind it's powerful and introspective we have judgment again the fiery phoenix you are rising from the ashes during this glow up you are getting a total renewal so people will be looking at you like what happened you you know you were laying there depressed or you you weren't doing anything you were you know whatever the case may be this is the 2.0 of you so i don't know you could have been through many of these phoenix moments but you are definitely showing that you are more alive and newborn and rebirthed than you had been previous and there's so much new about you it's like you're a whole new person and all those that know you they see the difference they're impressed and we have six of pentacles you're ready to start sharing again your energy but you're also pulling in and sharing only what you can with who you can you're being selective because your intuition tells you who needs your attention and who doesn't three of pentacles yes you're collaborating with the right person right people when you find the right people your intuition is going to guide you who is it that i need to assist who is it that i need to add my energies to who is it that will appreciate me justice and of course you may be finding or reuniting with your twin flame now ma has much to do with the end you know when we measure our heart her and anubis together stand while they measure the heart to make sure that it's as light as a feather because you want to collect dharma and not karma as you go into the uh, the other life or to the afterlife what where does you go right well you're working off the residual of anything that would hold back the weight of what your soul would be at that end game and you're being seen by higher authorities in the spiritual realm as being near that place where you need to be at so that you can go freely and not be held back and put into a, a holding area if you will or whatever it is you know you believe right but things will go right right for you so this is a powerful reading it may not seem like it but it is you might want to listen to it more than once it's very powerful i've gone over i think i'm gonna have to make the timing different you will feel a little on guard on this glow up but only because of the attention people are wanting from you so you're gonna have to guard your attention you know or guard your uh, energy you're going to have to be creative about how you spend your energy and selective about who you give your energy to because for now your love affair is with yourself your love affair in this glow up is with yourself and with Gaia and Gaia wants you to know that you're beautiful and intuitive and you were selected because of your standing in the karma dharma situation you have number one been responsible spiritually and in the 3d realm too it looks like you have been responsible and you're being rewarded okay that's this one for now i'm going to do more of these so keep your eyes open you might want to listen to two as well thanks for listening pal one bye for now Welcome, Pile 2, to your glow up reading. Thank you for stopping by to Tinker BT. I have a few oracle decks and I have some tarot cards I'm going to pull to find out about your next glow up.
what is pile two's next glow up going to consist of please I didn't previously shuffle the card, so I'm doing it kind of now on a whim. And also, at the same time, I'm pulling out the ones that are meant for you. When I'm on screen, I'm going to get more accustomed to this, or whatever the word may be. I'm going to get fit the right fit to how it should work for me. Okay, for you, your glow up is going to result with... Your inner dragon is going to give you love and reach out to you. So there is a spiritual guide that is known to be an inner dragon or a dragon that comes to you, to your inner self, to your higher self, if you will. But the realm of your truth is opening up and this dragon is going to bring you your truth. 26 could mean something to you, 2, 6, or 8 as well. Um, the 26th could be the date that you see this occur, you feel it. You're going to possibly reach a position in this glow up of having a nice getaway, a vacation, or you might acquire a nice far out, far out of reach kind of home, like a little bungalow or something like that, maybe set on a pond or on a lake. Cross the bridge of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotions. Okay, so... You're going to have more clarity and truth and your dragon is going to bring you that but you're also going to be finding yourself this could be as well meditatively speaking because your body is your home too you're going to find yourself in a place where you can reach truth because your body has reached a place where it's the vessel of honesty so you're putting many many healthy things into your thoughts into your food into your environment you're careful and cautious about how it is you spend your time and with whom you're going to be a bit on the rebel the rebellious side so if you've had a people pleasing way this glow up is going to have you release that you are going to be on your own pursuit now you will, if you have to go against the grain, you'll stand up for your own feelings, thoughts, and causes. You will be outspoken. You'll be beautiful doing it, but spirit's going to guide you so you do it right. With much di diplomacy, flames of desire, let them shine out and radiate light and shun dark paths. Okay, so if you've been working through your shadow work, if you had a dark night of the soul, it's about to end. It's about to bring out the wisdom and truth that it gave you to clear the path for the light to shine bright again. So whatever has been dark or you've been going along with the flow because you have been a yes ma'am or yes man, it's not going to be that way anymore. No, you're going to find yourself freely speaking your mind, freely understanding your truth, understanding what it is you need to say. You're also going to have a lot more energy, vitality, vigor. Your vision's going to be brighter. You might be changing your hair color. If you're a, a woman listening to this, or you identify as female, you will have probably long hair, and you might color it green, or blue and you might use some kind of decorations I don't know it, it could be actual flowers but you might go into the the beauty shop and you might find something that you love to adorn your hair with and maybe you'll be known as someone who wears something in your hair your hair will be very different from how it was previous to this glow up and your eyes will be very unique and stand out so you might find a new makeup formula or you might approach your your make up or the cosmetic way you're seen right you might approach it in a new way some way that you didn't before maybe if you were going through the dark night of the soul and this period is going to bring you a more freer lively look to you right so it's not going to look like you're going through any kind of gothic period or dark period if you will yeah you're going to embrace your your wild nature side your 
going to share in nature with the animals. You're going to embrace the wisdom that you had from going within with the outside world. And you're going to start with nature. Now this is for the men listening or the women who identify with the masculine side in self. And we all carry it, so it depends. And you could be working with your masculine side more right now. If you're bossing up, you are. And so if you're going after things rather than letting them come to you, you are on your masculine journey. And we weave because we are born with a particular gender to us. And there are people out there who change to, you know, they, they choose to re-identify themselves, right? Or to change it, okay? But they're in inwardly lays two different genders within us and those genders they need to assimilate to maintain us as a a being you know to keep us in balance and if you are right now working with your masculine side or identify with it this glow up is going to be a purification period to detoxify cleanse and liberate now those that are not healed well i just want to share that there is such a thing you probably heard of toxic masculinity so if you're a masculine or even a woman carrying that energy the masculine energy non-healed portions within self can lead to um, overreaching in a masculine way over aggressiveness re um, not rebellious um, arrogance um, the need to to win at all costs the need to be boss of anything when not asked or not earned feeling entitled a lot of these things that come in through our darkness of the soul these areas in which we need to heal can bring in toxic gender identification whether it be feminine or masculine so if your masculine side has been toxic it is going to be purified this glow up is going to transform your masculine energy and again, this does not matter what gender you actually wear on the outside or how you identify. Patience. This is what I'm needing to work on. Let me tell you, if you have a lot of fire in your chart, you're going to find this glow up is going to tame that fire that is out of control. That fire that says, let me ahead of you. Let me get to the front of the line. I got to get somewhere. I got to beep, 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 beep. You know, like you're in a hurry to get somewhere, right? Or can't you hurry it up? hurry it up, hurry it up, you know, to somebody else or even to yourself, like you're saying to your, in your inside voice, inside your mind, you're saying, come on, can't you go faster? Can't you go faster? I'm that way. I'm kind of like, come on, hurry it up. You're, you're behind schedule, that kind of thing. Um, but when the time is right, the time is right, right? And so with patience, you have to learn everything in due time. The divine has timing and sometimes it's at play. You can't step overstep overreach divine timing patience resist realize and commitment so take a moment and pause ask yourself how important is this particular area that you're trying to rush because if you rush something you might miss something you need to slow it down so you don't miss something your glow up is going to give you the ability to do that and it's going to effortlessly come in and you're going to be surprised where did all this patience come from and others will notice because they'll admire it and of course they'll want to know what you did and it will have come naturally because the glow up is going to just bring it to you your meditation may be a, a, a factor that has brought this in too so if anyone asks you you could tell them meditation helped you whatever you think of in your story that has helped you you could tell them if you wish it's your business right magnetize guide rise and attract you will attract a great bounty of spiritual wisdom and beings that will come to your aid and your assistance they will help you on the journey they'll answer questions they'll guide you the right way and the wrong showing you excuse me the wrong way the wrong way will not bring you the luck that you wish for the the health that you wish for it will not bring the people or the beings, the creatures, um, prosperity, whatever facet in life it is you're looking for, it will not bring. So you want to attract, you want to allow. So allow spirit to take your hand and place you on the path and don't force the path. So as you're 
glowing in your glow, in your glow up, you're going to get recognized by the spirit beings that are going to want to work with you a whole lot more. You're going to get more assistance the more you go into this facet of glow up. An old friend will probably want to reach out to you. Uh, yeah, shared mission. Somebody who did not know until this era, because we are in the awakening era, that you used to know they're going to come in. They're going to say they understand now. They want to co-create now. They respect what you said back there, back then. Or they understand you, and they didn't before. They do now. This glow up's going to bring somebody to intertwine with you on a shared mission. So it's kind of like a Two of Cups energy. Perception. Yearn into it and sense much like the first reading, you're going to become very perceptive and intuition is going to be strong. You're going to hear the singing of birds in nature and it's almost going to be as though you're downloading what they're telling you and you're unzipping those files in your DNA code and somehow it's upgrading you by hearing those birds sing to you. And the butterflies, when they come to you, are going to be mess bring messages as well. So all flying beings are coming to you from the ethers, from the other world, right? From spirit world, from where source is. And they're coming with special messages. The glow up is going to, and it's going to reveal, unlock, unblock. When I say that, it's unblock. You will not have a wall. You're going to be tethered freely with spirit. There will be no blockages. This glow up is going to give you a direct line to source. If you didn't already. But you'll have a stronger one. If you already had it. Okay. Shine. Open up. Stand out and realize. And this is about no matter how you feel the world observes you. Say you don't have the most ritzy collection of clothing you don't wear the most posh threads right say you don't have the best glam cosmetics you put on you're wholesome and the girl next door the guy next door right the jock from the block you run and jog you exercise you don't take care in how your appearance is you're just taking care of you right you're not trying to keep up with anybody you're asked to stop and just shine if eyes are captured by you in this glow up allow them to see you allow them to appreciate you you may not realize you might have connections you find from this maybe you would not have met somebody on this particular glow up you will meet that could be possible too higher consciousness awaken expand and enlighten we're going to go to the akashic records now this deck is generally supposed to speak of past life, future lives. It's the entire lineage of you when your soul carnates into this place, right? The lightning bolt, eight of forces. That's like, and that is like an eight of wands in my opinion, because it's, it's fire. I think you're going to get a lot of messages, but a lot of them are going to come from spirit. I don't see any humans in this picture, but that doesn't mean that there won't be. You are going to get a lot of downloads, a lot in this glow up, and it's going to be fascinating because you're not going to be able to keep up. So you're going to want to slow down and practice meditation because of that patience. So if they're not coming out in real fast spurts, be patient. They're coming. They're coming. In Crescent Moon, Six of Keys. I feel this is a eight of coins kind of energy. You'll be working masterfully on artistic pursuits, on what spirit is guiding you to. And you'll be digging into your emotions to find that the artist within you has found a muse. The muse is going to have your artistic abilities broadened, lively, the light of the world, number 10. This is like in the art, okay? 
because number 10 doesn't resonate with this, but this is a lot like the hermit card, okay, because he's holding his lantern. But when the hermit holds his lantern, he's holding the star for Aquarius, which is healing energy, the opposition of the star of the zodiac Leo. So you could be Leo or Aquarius, even Virgo or Sagittarius, uh, Pisces, pardon me. But I feel there's a Leo listening to this. And I feel there could be Jupiter strongly in your chart. And I feel your 10th house, which was is where your MC is, is what you need to be looking at with this glow up. I feel that when you go within, you're going to find some major discoveries that you've been overlooking that are going to be aha. And your MC, your career sector, is going to light up once you come out of this hermitage. That's part of your glow up. And here's the garden, and it's five of roses, which is five of cups in a traditional deck. But this is more of an oracle for me, even though the numbers, they're supposed to be compared to a tarot. I use it as an oracle. So you're going to be amazed by the markings in each butterfly. You're going to not see them as a butterfly. They're each individual, just as we're each individual by the way we are in our skin and our soul within the skin because you know just because someone's beautiful on the outside there's so much more to what they are on the inside that's what you're going to find here you're going to find that you had locked somebody out before this glow up that you hadn't looked at closer with this glow up you're going to see them much closer much much closer and you're going to see them as part of the garden you'd like to live in, the garden that you'd like to share in, and you'd like to share with them what you know, and the beauty that is within you, you'd like to share with them. With this glow up, you're also going to meet your king of cups, if you're a feminine, and if you're a masculine, put it whichever way you need to. And a Leo just showed up on scene, so it could be a Leo you're looking for, if you're not a Leo yourself. But in this energy, I feel this has to do with the spirit world meets the 3D world. This king of cups you're going to meet in this glow up is going to be someone you know from the astral plane, from a past life, in the Akashic records, the bird's nest, three of forces, yes. Um, this feels to me, even though this may be the fiery... You might be waiting for creations to come in. This glow up could involve you creating projects. Three of them could be coming up. You could also be inviting three young persons into your life. There could be children coming into your life, and you might be somebody who actually cares for children. You're a guide to children in some way, maybe a teacher, maybe a counselor to children, but you're going to have them under wing, and you're going to care for them. You're going to give them guidance and the harmony they need for direction. Spring and autumn season are going to be very important. Spring's almost over with. Autumn will be in the hermitage time. I see you reflecting upon what it is a home for you. I see you possibly changing your home during that time of year. Now, in different parts of the country, spring and autumn could be different times of the year for each place. So right now in America, spring is about to end and summer is coming. So we're still in spring. This glow up for you could be coming very soon. Now, I don't know if you're in the UK or elsewhere in the world, but depending on your autumn and spring, this could be more germane to your true, you know, for you, for your glow up, okay? For this glow up. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of messages. You're going to want to practice patience when it comes to answering to these messages. Okay, so for the 3D, now, the spirit world is different. Time is not relative to the spirit beings, okay? But, yeah, um, I would say be very, very patient in answering because somebody might be wanting to just take information and run from you. Your glowing energy, this, this glow up is going to be recognized. So whatever spiritual abilities you have, the downloads you have, the updates you have, you may want to keep some of it to yourself. 
I'm getting air traffic above me. So that is sort of clarifying this. So whatever it is in the messages you receive, especially if you're on Instagram or any of these places, um, use your due diligence to sit on these messages just long enough to meditate what you want to say, how you want to say it, how soon do you want to direct your message, to whom your messages are for, because somebody in the group of these messages may be looking, or some people, as many as seven even, could be looking to take what they can from you and not come back, or just take, 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 and you don't need that, okay? So this glow up, you may even intuitively know when you see someone coming to take from you and not answer those messages. Leave them on red because they aren't there for the right reason. Yeah, four of swords. Your rest time is valuable to you. In your glow up, you're going to rest and it's going to bring more spiritual knowledge, wisdom to you. But at the same time, you're going to have a clearer answer as to what it is you want in your energy, who it is you want in your energy. On your waking hours, we have nine of wands because you don't want to be on guard. Your glow up is going to require your rest be taken serious so that you'll know what beings to dodge who could be carrying energies attachments entities that you want to avoid your glow up is going to be significant you'll be culminating while you're resting ways to avoid such be people beings if you will because they will want to come at you. So the hanged man, yes, you'll see things differently. They will, because before, before this glow ups, you might have answered everybody. You might have been kind and fast and, and reciprocal to people who had their own interests at, at hand. They didn't care about you. They were just out for what they could get from you. And you let them have their way because you were people pleasing or you thought that was the way to be because you wanted to be a nice individual. This glow up's gonna teach you being nice is fine for those that deserve the nice, right? So you're going to have to feel it out. This globe is going to give you the ability to know innately who is after the right things and who isn't. Okay, three of swords. So you can avoid three of swords. So if you have a relationship or you're going to have one or you're working on one, You'll be able to feel out if somebody is genuine with you. If they're doing something sneaky or shady, you'll be able to feel them out. The lovers, and you'll have lots of choices in this glow up. There may be one particular special one that you're waiting for. <laughs> that would be clarification right there. There may be one very special one that you're waiting for because th there is an angel in this one that is a lot like temperance, which is alchemy, which is higher you know, like higher source. This particular deck that I have right now I'm working with for you, it almost feels like Adam and Eve energy, like you're the supposed to be the most meaningful couple, right, in the universe together. So this person that you have your eye on or that is your selective person is maybe meant for you. And so you're feeling it out to be certain and you have innate ability to know so because your intuition's a buzz with this glow up. And yes, Six of Cups, like the two of you were made for each other. Like you go back and we already had one card show up earlier about somebody having an aha moment coming back to you and realizing that there was meaningfulness between the two of you. We also had the energy for the glow up for you that there was great um, ability to redefine, re-examine the other so whether you were or they were the butterfly remember when I was speaking on that where somebody was able to look beyond the opticals they were looking within deeply in the spirit side of you or you with them so you could see each other intrinsically it wasn't shallow affection it wasn't shallow love it wasn't who could adorn the best threads or wear the best cosmetics no or had the best sports car or the best physique no it wasn't. It was about the spirits that spoke to one another that were inward. The rest of it's just cherry on the Sunday, right? But your glow up is going to be pretty big. And I feel, depending on where you are, it could be going on anytime soon. It could be 10 weeks from now. Your glow up could be as soon as 10 days from now. Please leave in the comments area. 
some red emojis. Tell me if any of this resonates and if anything comes back to you that feels right, that you feel resonates with you, please leave it down in the comment area. I would appreciate it so much. This is Tinker BT. I really enjoyed reading for you and there'll be more and I'll get better and I'll be on camera in the near future. So I hope that you enjoyed. I look forward to hearing about your glow up. Do take care. I'm out for now.